Turkey announces successful test of Supan railgun hypervelocity weapon. Ankara announced that it successfully tested an electromagnetic kinetic weapon, joining a club of developers alongside Russia, the US, China, and India. Turkey announced a successful test of its new electromagnetic weapon referred to as railgun which shoots metallic projectiles at hypersonic speeds. Turkey is the fifth country in the world to develop the weapon, after Russia, the US, China and India. The weapon has been named Tubataksupan, or Tubataksling shot, after Turkey's Scientific and Technological Research Council, Tubatak. Weapons similar to Supan are capable of firing a projectile as far as 100 km, at speeds of up to 3,500 m per second, 12,600 km per hour. According to the Turkish Armed Forces, the Supan has been tested at 9,300 km per hour, faster than Mach 7.5. Ankara intends to boost the velocity of the round to Mach 8.5, 10.500 km per hour, making it almost impossible for a target to defend itself, Business Times reports. Railgun technology has certain upsides, the hypervelocity round is very difficult to intercept, and, since it has no electronics inside, it is immune to jamming and electronic warfare. In one live fire tests, a railgun successfully pierced a 1 meter thick reinforced concrete bunker. The primary downside of the weapon is its extremely high energy consumption. In order to fire at 10 rounds per minute, one shot every 6 seconds, a railgun requires some 20 megawatts of energy, the output of a power plant used to light and heat some 250 small homes. First tested in 2014, Turkey Supan is a byproduct of Tubatox research into inertial confinement fusion technology, also known as controllable thermonuclear energy, Business Times reports. Turkey reportedly plans to build eight TF-2000 class frigates, equipping them with full-scale combat-ready versions of the Supan railgun, according to the newspaper. Only five countries have working railgun technology, Russia, the US, China, India and Turkey. While the US considers railgun to primarily be a weapon, Russian scientists have more recently examined peaceful applications, such as delivering cargo into space, according to 2017 Zvezda report.